Welcome to back YouTube channel Master Auto Information in please like and subscribe to my channel watching the video. The Sakhoi Su-27, a name that has echoed through the skies since the Cold War era, continues to command respect in 2025. Originally developed by the Soviet Union to counter American air superiority fighters like the F-15 Eagle, the Su-27 has evolved into one of the most formidable and adaptable fighter platforms in the world. Even in 2025, decades after its first flight, the Su-27 remains relevant thanks to modern upgrades, advanced variants, and its global presence. Designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, the Su-27 made its first flight in 1977 and officially entered service in the 1980s. From the beginning, its primary purpose was clear, gain air superiority over any potential NATO adversary. With its twin engines, powerful radar, and impressive maneuverability, the Su-27 was a direct response to Western advancements. It was built to fight, to dominate, and to survive in the high-speed chess game of modern aerial combat. In terms of design, the Su-27 features a long fuselage, large wings, and twin vertical stabilizers. It's a big fighter or one of the largest in its class yet it handles with the finesse of a much smaller aircraft. Its blended wing body design provides excellent lift and agility while the large control surfaces give it the ability to perform extreme maneuvers such as the Pugik F's Cobra, a move few aircraft can replicate. This maneuver alone has become a symbol of the Su-27's superior aerodynamics and thrust vectoring capabilities in some of its variants. Powering the Su-27 R2 Saturn AL-31F turbofan engines, each producing about 27,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. These engines provide the aircraft with a top speed of over Mach 2.35, a combat range of over 1,500 kilometers without external fuel tanks, and a service ceiling of 19,000 meters. These specifications ensure that the Su-27 can engage in long-range patrols and still have the power and speed to enter and exit hostile airspace effectively. The Su-27's radar system, originally the N-001 Mayach, was designed to track multiple targets and engage enemies at beyond visual range. In modern 2025 upgrades, Many Su-27s now carry more advanced radars like the N-001 VIP or even passive electronically scanned array, PASA, and active electronically scanned array, ACER, radars in some of the upgraded models. These improvements have dramatically increased its detection range, target tracking, and electronic warfare capabilities. In terms of armament, the Su-27 is equipped with a 30mm GSH-31 cannon and has 10 hard points for air-to-air -air missiles such as the R-27, R-73, and R-77. The R-77, sometimes called the Amramsky due to its similarity to the American AIM-120, provides beyond visual range capabilities with active radar homing. The R-73, with its infrared homing and helmet-mounted targeting system, allows the Su-27 to dominate in close dogfights. In upgraded variants, modern Russian air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons can also be integrated, giving the Su-27 a multi-role punch. Over the years, the Su-27 family has expanded significantly. The Su-30 Su-33, Su-34, and Su-35 are all derivatives of the Su-27 platform, each with their own specialized roles. For example, the Su-33 serves as a carrier-based fighter, while the Su-34 is a strike aircraft designed for deep penetration and ground attack. The Su-35, one of the most advanced versions, incorporates thrust vectoring nozzles, upgraded avionics and radar absorbent materials, making it a deadly 4 plus generation aircraft. These variants ensure that the Su-27's legacy continues in modern air forces. In 2025, the baseline Su-27 remains operational in several countries, including Russia, China, Ukraine, Angola, Ethiopia, and others. Many of these nations have opted to upgrade their fleets with new avionics weapons systems, 
and structural reinforcements to extend service life and maintain combat effectiveness. In Russia, the Su-27 SM and SM-3 are among the most advanced legacy Su-27S, featuring glass cockpits, modern navigation systems, digital flight control, and compatibility with modern weaponry. China, one of the biggest foreign users of the Su-27, acquired the aircraft in the 1990s and later developed its own licensed version known as the Shenyang J-11. The J-11 and its variants, including the J-11B and J-11D, have been heavily modified with Chinese avionics, radar, and indigenous weapons, essentially turning the original Su-27 into a new breed of fighter. The evolution of the J-11 shows how the basic Su-27 airframe has provided a solid foundation for future development. Despite its age, the Su-27 continues to prove itself in training exercises and real-world missions. Its agility, speed, and powerful radar and weapons make it a challenging adversary even for newer fifth-generation fighters. While it may lack stealth features, the Su-27 makes up for it with raw performance and combat-proven systems. In modern conflict zones, Su-27S and their variants have seen action in multiple theaters. During the Syrian conflict, Russian Su-30S and Su-35S, based on the Su-27, were active participants in air patrols, ground strikes, and escort missions. Similarly, during the conflict in Ukraine, both Ukrainian and Russian forces operated Su-27S in various roles, showcasing the aircraft's relevance in 21 ST century warfare. One of the standout features of the Su-27 is its survivability. The aircraft is built to take punishment and return home. Its twin engines provide redundancy in case one fails or is damaged, and its large fuel capacity allows it to stay in the air longer without needing aerial refueling. Additionally, its infrared countermeasure systems, radar warning receivers, and flare dispensers enhance its ability to evade enemy missiles and survive hostile engagements. Training and pilot experience also play a major role in the effectiveness of the Su-27. The aircraft is not easy to master, but in the hands of a skilled pilot, it becomes a weapon of terrifying precision. Russian aerobatic teams like the Russian Knights fly the Su-27 and its variants regularly performing at air shows and military parades to showcase the aircraft's unmatched maneuverability. Maintenance and logistical support have always been a challenge for legacy aircraft, but in 2025, modernization programs have helped streamline these issues. Digital diagnostics, modular components, and improved ground support equipment have made it easier to keep the Su-27 in the sky. Additionally, Countries operating the aircraft have formed partnerships to share spare parts, training programs, and technical expertise. Looking ahead, the future of the Su-27 in 2025 and beyond depends on continued investment and modernization. While fifth-generation fighters like the Su-57 and American F-35 dominate headlines, the Su-27 remains an essential component of many Air Force's fighter fleets. Its cost-effectiveness, versatility, and combat record ensure that it won't be retired anytime soon. There's also a growing market for upgraded Su-27S in developing countries. As some nations look for high-performance fighters without the cost of stealth jets, the Su-27 offers an attractive option. With upgrades to radar, cockpit systems, and weapons, it can compete with many modern aircraft at a fraction of the cost. In terms of electronic warfare, the Su-27 has seen improvements in jamming systems and sensor fusion. New variants are equipped with digital receivers, better electronic countermeasures, and link systems that allow them to share data with other aircraft in a network-centric warfare environment. This makes the Su-27 not just a fighter but an ode in a larger combat system. 2025 also brings an increased focus on drone integration and AI-assisted systems. While the Su-27 was not originally built with these in mind, modernization efforts have aimed to add compatibility with unmanned wingmen, target-sharing networks, 
and advanced situational awareness tools. These enhancements are crucial in future air battles, where information and coordination often decide the outcome before the first missile is fired. From a historical perspective, the Su-27 has earned its place in aviation history. It's one of the few aircraft that can claim to have gone head-to-head -head with the best fighters of multiple generations and still remain competitive. Its design was ahead of its time, its performance unmatched in the 1980s, and its influence spread across the globe. As of 2025, the Sukhoi Su-27 represents a bridge between the legacy of the Cold War and the digital battlefield of the future. It combines brute force with refined aerodynamics, classical dogfighting with modern electronics, and traditional air superiority with growing multi-role capabilities. It is a symbol of Russian aerospace engineering at its finest. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe to Master Auto Information for more exciting content on military, aviation, and vehicle technology. See you in the next video.